welcome back to another video in this video I will be giving my personal breakdown of the trailer a quiet place day one this is what I believe is the third um quiet place movie um and I just want to give my perspective on this movie please do not be offended on what I'm about to say because it's not to offend anybody it's just my perspective um and of course I could be wrong um my um perspective is also based off you know people that I listen to such as Kalai being one of them you know brother Sanchez and so forth <clears throat> so I'm just going to be connecting the dots I am going to be taking a risk at playing this trailer out loud I won't be showing y'all the footage um due to copyright reasons I don't know if I'll get a copyright strike for even sharing the audio but we will see but anyway, this is my breakdown, and I'm about to play the trailer now. So, so, so I notice if you if you look at the beginning of the trailer, you'll notice that they're they're sitting in a um a cross formation, like a like a lowercase t. Um, my first thought is the Last Supper. You know, the Jesus, Jesus and the Last Supper, you know, the cross, you know, dealing with Christianity. So that was my first thought. And I see that they have a countdown from day 476 and, they, and, they, and they're going to be counting down. I'm guessing we're counting down to day one, a.k.a. the um, first phase of the destruction and chaos that is going to be taking place on the planet due to a mass awakening. Now I'm about to play the um, trailer. So the the um <clears throat> movie seems to be taking place in the city as expected. Um I think it's New York. Um it starts off with the main character, a so-called black woman as always. Um and they always use the darkest woman that they can get in the in the movie industry. Um So yeah, she also is we she's also wearing you know, like fall looking colors and that were, to me that remind that um puts me in the mind of us as fallen um fallen angels, like fallen. You fall. The brown people. That's what that reminds me of. <clears throat> Continue playing the trailer. And then they had they got this scene to where um like meteorites were falling out of the sky. To me, I think that represents the CMEs that are that, that the sun is giving off, the solar flares. And that's what they're showing in this movie. And it's causing a lot of um catastrophic events, you know, the um cars flipping up and stuff like that. You know, a lot of destru a lot of destruction of their system. So that's what this is um putting me putting me in the mind of Okay. So a lady just called for help and she get she just got swiped up by a monster. Now Kala spoke on there's gonna be creatures that are gonna be roaming this earth coming from the ground and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. Um I am aware that there's also demons already amongst us already, but I'm talking about the creatures that they're showing in these movies. If they're gonna, if there, if there's gonna be monsters like in these movies, then yeah, it's over with. Um, but yeah, they got it in this movie, <clears throat> and on um, this lady, she was calling for help, and she got swiped up by that monster. And see, um, I see a lot of people begging for help. You know, they they begging this black woman for help, and um, nobody's there to save them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> self-explanatory. And then it, you know, they got they got this summer up here. I see this summer. 
So yeah, it's gonna be hot this summer. A lot of stuff is gonna be taking place um during the summer. Um, a lot of um CMEs are gonna be going off based off me listening to World News Report, Remedy H, Kali, etc. Continue playing the trailer. Okay, they got a scene in here to where the the bridge that that red bridge that they always have in all or most movies that red bridge in uh, New York, I think Manhattan, if I'm not mistaken, that red bridge is it had failed, it was on fire. To me, that represents the fall of their system, and of course they got the black lady in um in most of the scenes. As if she's in awe or what or what not. Um, there's a lot of destruction and stuff like that. Chaos taking place, people panicking as expected because you know we've been living like this for so long that when stuff like this finally happens, pe people ain't got no choice but to panic, especially the ones who are still asleep. Continue playing the trailer. Okay, it said it said went quiet, so that reminds me of um basically the quiet before the storm <clears throat> even though we we're already in the storm already but <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> okay now the lady is covered in white ash like debris from the buildings crashing and stuff like that she looks to be unconscious okay continue playing the trailer Okay, now in this particular scene at 1 minute 10 seconds, the black man, the African black man, I told y'all they always use the darkest of the darkest that they can find in the music in, in the um in the movie industry to represent the aboriginal people of this planet. Um he's telling the black woman to shh and be calm because those monsters are out there, aka the system is crashing. Um a lot of Chaos is taking place. So he's trying to calm her so they can be protected. This is what I'm getting from, you know, based on my own ideology. See, all of the monsters are running around them. And if you look at the scene, 117, and they got the little two red pillars, to me that represents... The so-called aboriginal man and woman being protected amongst the destruction that will be taking place when this system finally falls. Will it fall? I don't know. When will it fall? I don't know. I'm just going off what I'm seeing in this film, what they're showing me in, the, in this film. So that's what I get from it. And I'm not talking about the um, low, vi low vibrational ones because you have... I'm not talking about the low vibrational ones because they deserve... Um, everything was coming for them because, you know, they made their certain choices and stuff like that. Even while knowing, um, even, even while being in the know, you know, I'll say that. So basically, they, they basically were showing that the, bl the black man was finally taking his, um, Take um reclaiming his position as a man, the foundation. That's what this scene reminds me of. Um, let's see. Okay, you see a. Okay, uh, okay, okay. That's the end of the trailer, and it say um this is supposed to um be in theaters in June, the hottest part of the um season. <laughs> Um, what I saw was those little slender creatures running up the walls and stuff of New York. Kala spoke up, spoke on those creatures. He said that um you because you know the the mall, the they they had the situation where the mall creatures were like slender. Um, so they said. So Kala was saying that, if I'm not mistaken, you know, um, that. Those are those creatures basically. T 
Team Venom um, basically coming to reclaim this planet, if I'm not mistaken. But in the movie, they give them, they, they, they make it as if they're the bad guys, you see what I'm saying? But the one, but the beings that have us held captive, they're the bad guys. The ones that are coming to reclaim the planet are the good guys trying to subdue the bad, the real bit, the real bad guys. You see what I'm saying? So the beast, they're good at manipulating different, uh, how can I say, like different um roles in this situation that we're in. You see what I'm saying? They 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 paint in the the monsters in this movie as if they're you know monsters when the, the beings that created the movie they are the monsters. <laughs> like do y'all get it? You see what I'm saying? They they put it right in front of our face. We just you know too blind too blind to not see it. But anyway, that's all I have for this um breakdown semi breakdown. Um, hopefully y'all learn something. Hopefully I made sense for those who don't get it. Um, if not, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, that's all I can say. And I will be doing a breakdown on this next movie. Um, on my next video. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Peace.